What's happening, fam? LA All Movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. He needs to make enough money to pay for my bad decisions. You know, with all the high value talk, this is what this is the consensus that it, that that comes across when you're listening to these women about their situation and why they're looking for a quote unquote high value man or a man that's making six figures or more. Why do you need somebody making six figures or more? Well, uh, I'm a single mother. I'm overweight. I might be old. I was a feminist back in the day, and um, along the way, I did some. Things that cost me, you know. I didn't pay off my student loans. Uh, I might have got, I could have got married a couple of times, but I said no. And now I realize I probably would have had more money in my pocket if I would have been with somebody and not wanting to do this on my own. I got these kids and I thought child support would do it. Well, child support did do it, plus the you know, the tax benefits and the tax breaks, but ultimately, I really got nothing to show for it at the end of the day. And now, I need a man to come along and um, subsidize my life because, you know, I just realized my career ain't really got me nowhere. And uh, this child support ain't really got me nowhere. So, and not to mention my diva stage and my gold digger stage and my sexual liberated my sexual liberation stage. And now it was all a waste. And the only way I could make up all of this lost time and bad decision making is get with a man who makes enough money that he could pay for it all. Yeah, he could pay down my student loans. Maybe he could pay for me to get a trainer. You know, maybe he could pay for me to shop and buy the stuff I really wanted to buy. Maybe he could, you know, make enough money so I don't have to work anymore, even though I said I wanted to work so I didn't have to depend on a man. So everything that I did in my life to make sure I didn't have to depend on a man, I need to find a man who can make enough money to make me say, you know what? I should have did this a long time ago. And here's the kicker. What are you going to bring to that man? Well, I'm going to bring me and I'm going to bring me breathing and I'm going to bring my children and I'm going to bring this weight and I'm going to bring the, all of these intangible things to his life that really don't mean much to him. But in my mind, just me being around and being supportive and taking his debit card and credit card and me maybe cooking from time to time. And you know, maybe I could get my kids to, I don't know, Act like they can cook for us if I don't feel like it. And, you know, oh, my personality is great. And, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I can speak life into his life and speak so much life that he can give me extra money. What? So what, 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 do, what does he want? Huh? He just wants me to come in there and, and, be, and have access to everything he's worked for because, because I really need it. Oh, oh, you really need it. And my kids need it. And I've been buying Cheetos for a long time. I, I, need, I need some, some health insurance. I need to make some doctor visits with dental. I need, I need to get these teeth fixed. Um, I might need lipo. I might need a boob job. I need everything. I need a man who can actually put me back on my feet. But here's the thing, why would he do that? Nobody, no guy becomes successful in life to say, man, you know what? I'm gonna find a person in the worst position possible and I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set them up for life, yeah. I'm gonna be like Tyler Perry in Good Deeds. I'm gonna find this girl with this, this kid in this car living in a minivan and but this one's going to be fat. She ain't going to be slim like Tandy Newton. No, she's going to be fat. She's going to be out of shape. She's going to have a bad attitude. And I'm going to have to work with her attitude. And I'm going to have to get her some therapy. And I'm going to get her a trainer. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to get a, a chef to teach her how to cook. Oh, man, I'm sending her to etiquette school. Oh, my God, man. And she's going to speak and speak a life into me and show me her personality. Hallelujah.
Y'all out y'all mind. You know, forget all that. But like I said, we out here. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and peace.